We're at DevOps Belgium 2019 and I'm joined by Mohamed Abilati. Mohamed, nice to see you. Thanks. Nice to see you too. Thanks it's been a long time. Along. It yeah. has been far too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think it's the last time we saw each other was at DevOps Ukraine last year. It's, I was there. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a yeah, while. yeah. It's, it's always nice to meet you <laughs> and, and to you, see you again. <laughs> you too, man. You too. So you've got a session this week, containers and Java. Yes. What I wish I'd been told when I started. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, you know, containers are part of the day-to-day -day life nowadays. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, that's not always been the case. So how have things evolved over recent years? So the talk basically highlights the experience we had at XHub, so the company I work on while deploying containers in Java, and microservices containers in, in, in Kubernetes and Docker and stuff. So it highlights basically the problems we got with especially that the GVM is not container aware. So Java has been there for 20 years. Yeah. And Docker appeared in 2014 or something, 2013, and it exploded in popularity and everyone started using container. But when Docker appeared, Java 7 was already out and the work on Java 8 already started. So it, it somehow explains why the Java, the GVM is not container aware. And that's not only the problem of Java, but some other tools. But let's, let's keep focusing on Java. So, when you run containers on Java, specifically old, old versions, you have some kind of some weird problems, since with GVM uh, or the GVM ergonomics, which is a nice feature of the GVM. But if it can't grab the good values from, which is for the memory limits and the CPU constraints, it grabs them from the host and not from this new things, which is containers, which uh, the limitations are defined in DC groups, which uh, turns deploying Java application inside a container into a nightmare. So if, if you de deploy uh, your, your application into your container uh, and deploy it into a Kubernetes cluster, you will see your application just restarting and restarting and enable to, to reach a stable state. So I'm, like, I'm talking about these issues if you are running an old version of Java, but the, the community is, did an amazing job to make the GVM more, more container aware. Yeah, so it's interesting you've got containers, which is a relatively new thing. We've got Java, which seems to have been around forever and yeah. certainly for a generation of developers. <laughs> exactly. They, you know, it will have been an ever-present for them. They're playing together nicely at the moment. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, if you are using Java, yeah, they start playing nice starting from Java 8. Yeah. So, just make sure you are using the latest update of the Java 8. And from Java 8, like the community is starting adding more, more efforts and more updates and more uh, features to make the GVM more container aware. So, although they're playing nicely together now, yeah. if you had a magic wand, um, <laughs> what, what would you like to see happen next? Uh, more adoption of, 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 uh, of monitoring tools because uh, there are some, like the work now from the Java community is focusing to make the monitoring tools like the Java Flight Recorder and Gcam and two to are more container aware. And we see like the introduction of containers metrics in the GVM, which enables to collect metrics uh, on the GVM. So uh, more adoption, more testing, because we have also Project Portola, mm -hmm. uh, which plays nicely while deploying your Java application inside Alpine, which aims basically to port uh, the GVM into uh, LibC. So Project Portola has been introduced in Java 12, but has been pushed to Java 13 and Java 14 because it is not production ready yet. So if the community can start in testing it out and contribute contributing to it and fixing fixing bugs and r r like uh, introducing like n if there is any issues that will help the community at all to uh, uh, to adopt more containers and make the GVM uh, a strong language as it, as it is like now in the yeah. container world. Yeah. So for folks watching back at home, um, firstly they can watch your talk on YouTube because yeah. it will be available from tomorrow. The day I after, guess. yeah, the yeah. day after my talk. Um, so that's that's a good start point. Um, yeah. So watch that. If they want to learn more, um, are there some specific information resources that you recommend? Yeah, so uh, if you are uh, wanting to, yeah, if you are using Jab and to want to play nicely with containers, there is a cool project from Google called uh, Jib, which enables you to build containers without the need of Docker, and it comes with best practice in mind to generate your Docker images. So that's a nice project to play with, and you are like, and you can check uh, like the Docker documentation on how to build uh, good practices or 
some tips and tricks to build good containers. There are Kubernetes documentation and keep uh, like watching the updates of Java and make sure you are using some kind of kind of latest updates and latest version because with each version and each updates we have some some updates and some new features that has been added to make the JVM run uh, more safer and faster on on containers. Cool, cool. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Enjoy the rest of the week. You too. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.